Hey guys, so I'm here today to film a review video on the Soraya Jade Cosmetics Breakup Makeup Collection. That's what it's called, right? Yeah. So if you don't know, Soraya Jade is Paige from WWE. She is my favorite wrestler. I love her aesthetic. I love her look. I think she's fantastic. Um, before I start this video, I will give a disclaimer that I love her. So I'm trying to be as unbiased as possible, but it may be difficult because... I love her. I met her in April when I went to New Orleans and she was honestly the most down to earth person that I met. She was super sweet, super nice. I just love her. Also in my last video, which is a haul bit video, I said that she's a goth ass bitch who speaks to my soul. And she actually tweeted out the other day that her favorite review of the cosmetics collection so far has been someone saying she's a goth ass bitch who speaks to her soul. So that was me. My life was made. She is my queen. I'm just going to be honest and say there will be a slight bias in this video. Just straight up. Before I get started, subscribe to my channel. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday. I'm trying to be a good YouTuber in 2018. So stick with me, I guess. Um, also subscribe to my Instagram because like I need more followers. Thanks. So these launched for pre-order in November and they were going to ship on the first week of December. She launched four liquid lipsticks um, and the second she announced them I knew I needed them and I was stalking her. I knew they were supposed to launch on, I can't remember what day it was, but it was like the next day and I saw her on her Instagram story said she was going to launch it actually at midnight that night. I, by the time I saw that story it was like 10pm so I was like oh so I'm staying up till midnight tonight. And then... When it comes to launches, I am a psychopath and I stalk the website. So I actually like opened the website at like 11.50 and then like refreshed it at like 11.53 and I saw that they were already up there. So I just like added them to my cart and checked out and I was done. And I received my email confirmation at the exact same time that the uh, announcement that they were live went out. So I actually got a DM from them the next morning that I was the first customer to place an order for the Soraya breakup makeup collection and I died a little bit. I'm a crazy person. I love Paige and that's the moral of the story, I guess. So again, she launched four liquid lipsticks. You know the thing about Paige, like I said, she's a goth ass bitch, she speaks to my soul. So like I love her look and the second I knew she was putting out liquid lipsticks, I was so excited because I knew they were gonna be colors that would work for me because she's so fair like me which I'm so excited about, but these colors will work for like tons of skin tones and I'm so excited for her to expand the collection because like, girl, give me a black lipstick. We both know you want to. We both know you should. Also like a dirty kind of grayish color. Mm, yes. So the lipsticks retail for $14 on their website. Um, if you order all four, they say that you get a free Soraya Jade makeup bag, which I thought was super cool, but I'm going to be honest. This is where I'm going to be honest and not biased. This is the makeup bag that I got. All four of my lipsticks came in this makeup bag. I'm just going to be honest. This is barely a makeup bag, and I don't think this is a cool enough thing to use as a marketing ploy. Like, I still got an email recently that said, like, thank you guys for helping make my launch a success lipsticks are restocked and remember if you buy all four you get a free Soraya Jade makeup bag and if this is the makeup bag they're still giving out I think that they should definitely rethink this and give me something cool like give something with like your logo on the front or like a nice like matte soft touch black like something cool I just thought this makeup bag was a super left down when I got it and I think that if you're going to include the lipsticks in this that's fine because it probably makes it easier to grab them at the warehouse when all they probably have all four like together in the warehouse like this and you can just grab it and place it in the order which is fine but I just think that you shouldn't be using this as a marketing ploy because like this ain't worth it I'm just gonna be honest it's not it sis so I ordered all four like I said they retail for $14 US shipping to Canada is also an issue I'm gonna be honest with you it cost me $20 to ship these lipsticks to me and that is insane and that is 20 US dollars they retail for 14 US dollars they shipped for 19 Canadian dollars so this ended up costing me like 80 dollars and then when it came to Canada I had to pay customs on it 30 dollars so these I paid 100 dollars for those these lipsticks I'm being honest and that is insane and I just think that as a brand, I know it's a newer brand, but she's been doing shirts for a while. So I just think that they need to rethink that and work on their shipping because paying $20 for shipping is ridiculous. And if it was any brand other than one of my idols, I probably wouldn't have made the purchase. I would have saw the shipping and said, fuck it, I'm not ordering it, to be honest. And 
like just straight up i think shipping prices are so important and people always act like canada is this really international super far away place and we're not i can drive an hour and get to america so i should be able to get shipping uh for a decent price or even if it's free shipping over a certain amount whatever lots of websites i now i find now have decent free shipping prices to canada like spend 60 dollars do free shipping 50 dollars do free shipping etc so i just think that shipping needs to be something that they work on going forward because i think the shipping prices were astronomical and ridiculous like i paid more for shipping than for one lipstick so moving along i'm going to talk about each lipstick i already filmed swatches this morning of all of them that i'm going to insert while i'm talking about them um i then went out ran some errands ate some lunch and came back and i've applied this lipstick which i'm going to do a wear test on so i'll talk about that kind of at the end i just didn't want to apply it and then go eat lunch that seemed counterproductive so i'm going to go lightest to darkest because that's how i swatched them the first shade is called i don't need you um there are no color descriptions on her website and i will say that the formula of these is very much like a mousse i've actually seen them compared to jeffree star liquid lipsticks online um but i've never tried jeffree star lips liquid lipsticks i don't support jeffree star and i refuse to support jeffree star so it's just not something i'm ever going to do but i have seen them compared to that and i do think they're a moussier kind of consistency and i guess actually before i talk about each liquid lipstick i should touch on the packaging and the formula the packaging of these they come in this cute little tube there is the logo on the front here there is a mirror on the back uh there is just your standard kind of doe foot applicator and then there's a light which personally i don't know if i'll ever use it it's kind of gimmicky but i mean it's cute and for it's not like it's making them any more expensive like they're still only 14 dollars. so like i think it's great if like you're out of the club or something and like you've got your mirror and your light for touch-ups but i just I don't see how I could ever apply liquid lipstick with this mirror but again I do think it's cool and like also like if you just ever need a flashlight you got it right there so yeah I like the packaging I think it's super cute it's sleek it's simple it's whatever um let me see how much you get in here so there's actually no information on the website about size or how much is in here and it's not on the packaging you do get this little kind of uh, just a sticker on the bottom with the name of the shade, which is fine. That's what most brands do. Uh, they are vegan, cruelty-free. Um, I believe they have no parabens, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So if you are worried about cruelty-free, these are cruelty-free. So that's the packaging. The formula is... Actually, I'll, talk about... I'll do the swatches and then I'll touch on the formula. So this is the shade I Don't Need You. It is a pinky color but it does feel like it has some peach undertones to me when i do the swatches when i look at the swatches um personally this is just a shade that i'm never i'm not gonna reach for very often i'm just not a nude kind of person but it is a nice nude and it's not too light so i feel like it would work for a lot of skin tones next up you have rebound i wore this one yesterday because i was testing it out and i've actually worn it a couple times and i love this color as you can see here it's more of a mauvey purple kind of color this is very much a your lips but better color for me like it is just my lips but slightly more mauvey toned and like it's just like a great everyday liquid lipstick for me which is perfect i think this color is beautiful and i love it and i definitely want to see more tones like this in her line but like maybe a little more gray you know me i love a lipstick a lipstick <laughs> A lipstick with purple undertones so much and this color is so beautiful it's very like mauvey so then you've got your red which is called idfc i don't fucking care and this is actually a very unique red to me i'm not really sure how to describe it because it kind of has like burnt undertones as you can see i'm wearing on my lips today and i will do the show you the swatch video but this is what it looks like here and it's not really a blue toned red but it's also not really a warm toned red it definitely like i said almost has like a burnt undertone to it which makes it so unique but like also so beautiful it kind of looks like a blood red to be honest but with more red in it than the darkness um i've seen this on a lot of people and it looks great on everybody um i know that when paige did her return 
she was obsessed with a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick that was red that she used to always wear. I can't find the name of it. I saw on one of the Glam Squad's posts that it was, there was one called Wifey that she was wearing that was red. I feel like it has a different name though, but I'm not sure. So I feel like this might be a dupe for one of the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks because if I was making a liquid, if I was making my own makeup line, I would 100% make my favorite red lipstick in it, even if that happened to be a dupe of another brand. Like, I don't think that's shady or anything. I think that's smart. And I love this red and because it has almost like a neutral undertone to it. I feel like it would look good on lots of people. And like, I love it because I have a hard time finding reds that aren't too bright. Whereas this is still like muted enough and burnt enough that like it works for every day without being too bright, but it's also not too dark to look like vampy. It's so hard to describe it, but I absolutely love this red. Then your last shade is called Into Dust. And oh, this color is honestly so gorgeous. It's at first glance, it looks like a chocolate brown and it does go on obviously mostly brown on your lips, but it kind of has this like almost purpley red undertone. Like you'll see usually with like lipsticks, you kind of like, especially dark ones, if you drag it out, you can really see their undertones well. So you can see it almost has this ready purple undertone to it that I think makes it so wearable on so many skin tones because a brown is not the easiest color to pull off. And I appreciate that it's not super warm toned, that it is this kind of almost purpley ready kind of chocolate color it makes it so wearable so beautiful i wore this in my holiday uh get ready with me and i absolutely cannot say enough about it i absolutely love it it's so beautiful i mean overall i love all of these shades the only shade i feel like i'm not gonna reach for a lot is the i don't need you and that's only because personally i don't like nudes but Overall, I do love the formula. I did apply this one here today with just a little bit of the Laneige Slip Sleeping Mask underneath it. Underneath it. When I say a little bit, I mean like I tapped the applicator in and then spread it on my lips and then wiped some of it off. Just because personally I have dry lips and I did do the lip swatches this morning so my lips were a little hurting. But I just put a little bit of lip balm underneath it. I think it swatched, it applies beautifully. They're super moussey, they're super comfortable. Yesterday I wore, like I told you guys, I wore Rebound and I didn't start feeling uncomfortable and dry on the lips until about the six hour mark. And that was really just on the inner part of the lips. So I am going to do a wear test on this color today. Uh, again, I'm wearing the color IDFC. I just applied it before I started filming, so about 15 minutes ago. So I will show you, it's not transfer proof. Like, as you can see, it's not transfer proof. Part of that is because I put a lip balm underneath it, but part of it is just, I feel like these are not a true super matte formula. They are definitely more of a satin, I would call it, or a moussey finish, which I personally appreciate because it makes them more comfortable on the lips. And like, I am just over things like the ColourPop liquid lipsticks where they're so drying. This is definitely probably more like a Kat Von D liquid lipstick or a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick where it's more comfortable on the lips. And I just love it. So I'm going to be doing a wear test on that. Right now it's 2.30 p.m. I've been filming for about 15 minutes. So I'm going to say I applied this at 2.15. And we're just going to see how long she lasts on my lips to finish off this review. But overall, I'm loving these lipsticks. So I will be back in a couple hours to do a do a check-in. Probably won't wear this for too long today because it is a liquid lipstick. I'm not expecting miracles from it. But we'll see how she lasts. So if you want to see how these wear throughout the day, then keep watching. Okay, and we're back. Wow, this is, is do people wear glasses to film? Because like, hello, say hello to my ring light. Can I get it in a lens? There it is. Um, it's 6.30, so I've had this on for four hours now. Um, oh, I got some of my teeth. That's cute. I'm classy. My corners are gone. Um, that's more so my fault. I was eating some chips and dip because, you know, like... Sometimes you need a snack. But other than that, like, my lipstick looks great. Now, uh, it's all around. This is what happens. When I wear lipstick, because I have a lip ring, I the lipstick gets on the top of the lip ring. It moves around in there. And I get lipstick around my piercing hole. That is nothing against the lipstick. That just happens to me. But... Overall, the lipstick is still on my lips. I could easily just touch up right now and I really don't need to. And most importantly, it feels comfortable. It hasn't smudged anywhere and it doesn't feel dry on my lips yet. It feels a little bit tacky still. And 
I mean, it's non-transfer proof, but it's there and it looks great and it's comfortable. And for me, that's what I need. Like I would rather it be a little bit uh, less long wearing and more comfortable because like, although like a ColourPop liquid lipstick or like a Kylie liquid lipstick is great because I'm trying to like position myself so you can't see the light in my glasses, it's not happening. Although those are great, um, sure they last you like 25 hours, but your lips feel like the Sahara Desert and like they're gonna fall off. So for me, that's not worth it. Whereas this, I feel like my lips feel fine. I don't need a lip balm or anything right now. Probably another like hour or two, I would need a lip balm. I thought about wearing this for longer, but like it's 6 p.m. on a Sunday and I just wanna take my face off and not wear it. So this is gonna be my wrap up of this video. Honestly, I love the formula of these liquid lipsticks. They're comfortable, they're moussey, they go on super pigmented. You can layer them without it feeling really heavy and dry on your lips. They last a really long time, they're not smudging, there's no feathering. Like overall, I think these lipsticks are great. I actually love the formula and I cannot wait for her to come out with more liquid lipsticks because I think they're fantastic. I love them. Can I say I love them anymore? I love the color selection. I love them all. I love the formula. I love the staying power. I love the finish and the feel on the lips, which to me is the most important part. Like I've been going back to wearing regular lipsticks over the last year or so and just using some liquid lipsticks. Like when it comes to liquid lipsticks, I really just reach for my color, not my color pop, sorry, my Kat Von D and my Anastasia. And like, that's it because everything else just feels painful on my lips. Like I'll wear it for like a video or something, but if I'm going out, like I just want a regular lipstick or something that's gonna feel nice on the lips. And this is the best of both worlds. It feels nice on the lips. It's still a liquid lipstick. It um, stays without feeling uncomfortable. I do like to wear a little bit of lip balm under my liquid lipsticks always, just because I have really dry lips. I have really dry skin. That's just who I am as a person. Like, do I have glitter on my forehead? I took my Christmas tree down today. It's been a situation. So I can't say enough good stuff about the Liquid Lipstick Collection. I think it's fantastic. I do hope they get their shipping in order for Canadians because I do think that we deserve better shipping. But packaging is great, formula is great, and that's what matters. Um, you need these, li this li these liquid lipsticks in your life. Trust a girl. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you've picked up the Soraya uh, Cosmetics line and what you think about them. And thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.